In this lesson, we're going to go over what a UDP packet actually looks like. Now, there's not really an awful lot to a UDP packet, and I've got a packet capture here. You can see here, this is actually a pretty small packet, and the headers are actually really small. So what I've got is just a source port. If I select the UDP header, you can see down here, the entire length of the UDP header is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bytes. Actually, four of those are the ports. I've got my source port here, which is these two bytes. And I've got my destination port, which is these two bytes here. The length is another two bytes. And then the checksum is two more bytes. So a total of eight bytes for the UDP headers. And that's really all there is to it. Again, what we're looking for with UDP is we're looking for just getting the packet out onto the wire quickly and not worrying about a lot of overhead. We're actually going to calculate a checksum because that's useful. We don't want to actually take a look at something that's been corrupted in transmission. So we do do a calculation of a checksum and we will take a look at that on the receiving end. But mostly it's about doing the multiplexing. And it's about providing information about the length of the packet. So we actually know where all of the information is and whether all of it's been received. So if we don't get 97 bytes worth of data, then we haven't received everything. If we get more than that, in either of those cases, the checksum probably won't compute anyway. And so we'll end up discarding the packet. So that's really all there is to UDP headers. It's really just the source port and the destination port. And again, that's two bytes. So that's 65,536 possible values in each of those locations or each of those positions. So you can have values in these ports of zero to 65,535, just because that's what you get with 16 bits worth of data we get 64K of values here in each of these locations. And then the length also gives us the ability to have lengths worth 64K or 65,536 bytes. That's the largest packet size that we could see. That would be unusual. And of course, anything that large would probably require fragmentation at the IP layer anyway. That would be a really large packet size. Usually what we'll see, particularly with UDP, is small packets that are meant to get there in a timely fashion. So again, we're talking about online gaming, we're talking about streaming media like audio and video. Voice over IP certainly falls into that as well, because of course that's streaming audio. That's really why we don't have anything in the UDP headers other than the multiplexing information here, which is the port information. And then just to check some in a length to make sure that we've got everything that we expect to have and that it looks like it hasn't been corrupted in transmission. And that's really all there are to the UDP headers.